What's up? So full band rehearsals for Kamira's upcoming show at this year's Incarceration Fest start in a couple days, and I've got a lot to do to get prepared for that. So I thought I'd show you all that I'm up to here. I'll show you which guitars I'm planning on playing live at the show, and I've got to get them re-strung and ready to rock. I'll also be packing up my rig, including my cabinet, the Fender Toolmaster Pro, my workstation, and my guitars. Hopefully, when I'm done here, I'll only have three things to carry, which is crazy because I used to bring at least 10 different things to every show. But I've been working hard over the past few months to strip everything back to create a smaller and more streamlined rig, and we'll see if I was able to do that. Okay, so first here, I've got my newest Jackson, the SL2 MG Soloist in this army green that I absolutely love. I've been playing this every night while I've been rehearsing the set list by myself, and it's felt great. It's definitely earned its place in my rotation. So now I've got to get it restrung, get it tuned and polished up, and all that good stuff. The other guitar I've chosen for the show is one of my trusty LTD RA600s, and these guitars are obviously perfect for me in every way, and I know I can rely on these things under any circumstances. This guitar, however, is currently set up in drop B, so I'm restringing and setting it up in drop C for the show. With the guitars ready to go, it's time to get them cased up. This Gator dual guitar vault is awesome because, well, obviously it holds two guitars. I also think it's important to get everything properly labeled, especially at a festival show where there's gonna be a bunch of bands and a ton of gear. SL stands for stage left, which is the side of the stage I always stand on. And when I say it's important to label everything, I mean everything. Things can easily get misplaced or picked up by somebody else. And I always say, better safe than sorry. Next up is my tech box where I can work on guitars and it's where I store all my tools, strings, batteries, etc. People ask me about this all the time and they're available from ultracase.com, but I'm warning you, they're not cheap. All right, so now I'll get the tech box packed up along with my pedal board and all of my cables. Mm -hmm. And finally, my cabinet. After I throw some labels on and attach the lid, I had to reinstall the caster board so it can roll around more easily. And believe me, this whole thing feels like it weighs a metric ton, and without wheels, it would be impossible to move. Oh, all right, well, here it is. Just three items, like I mentioned. So pretty proud of that. I know there's a bunch of other stuff in here. It'd be nice if it were just the three items. You could see what I'm talking about, you know? And I know this room is so small. Trust me, I wish I had some more room in here. And people even commented, man, you need a bigger space. The rest of my finished space out there behind the camera is 10 times as big, but this is uh, where I chose to set up my lights. So it's best for the camera and it is what it is. First world problems. Yes, I should have like, I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Got it down, just three items. I'm stoked about that. It's all pretty slick and streamlined. Should we, uh, should we do a little test? Should I break it out and jam some riffs? Just see what it's like putting it together? Because that'd be my first time. That was my first time doing all this stuff. All this is brand new gear. That's why I labeled it for the first time and everything. I'm sure I mentioned that. But um, yeah, so got it all together. Should we break it out, set it up, see what it'd be like? Not that I'm going to have to rush and do this at a show. Fortunately, I got guys doing that. But I guess I'm going to have to show somebody how to do it. I'm going to have to do it at the rehearsals too, uh, starting on Monday. So um, let's give that a try. Let's jam a couple riffs. You into it? If so, well, where else are you gonna go, right? Let's do it. So, pull this bad boy off. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know for you guys that jam with real amps and the band and stuff, I find that it's so much better to have a cabinet up high to be able to hear yourself, which is why I have full stack rules, but because I'm only bringing the half stack, what I'm gonna do 
is pull my cab out of here and set it on top so it'll be at ear level. That's what I'm talking about. You just hear it so much better, you know, when you're in a room with drums and PA, other guitar players, bass player, all that, you know. So I'll do that. I'll set the cab up top and that'll be good. Let's get out of there. That's cool. All right. Oh, there's locks on this side too. That makes sense. I didn't clip those up. And as you saw, I just restrung these. So it may be a little out of tune. We'll check that out. By the way, I went through all this stuff in prior videos, which, you know, I'll link for you below, above, all that kind of stuff. But this is a Gator Dual Vault, Gator just universal 412 hard shell or um you know flight case for the cab here and this is i don't know i found this on some website pure outdoor sort of thing a bit overkill but i showed in, in a video how i did the foam inside so everything's custom fit for all my stuff in here but here we go cases are open i'm gonna pull it out and jam this extra cable piece of advice when you're on a wireless this is a big 50 footer so like you know your wireless goes down live you just switch to the 50 footer right away your tech knows where it's at at all times stuff like that's important and he knows exactly where to plug it in to swap over so it's seamless it's happened to me dozens and dozens of times so we'll be prepared for that power speaker wireless tone master pro in case I didn't say it or you don't know, this is my preamp in the Tone Master Pro. And the Seymour Duncan power stage is my power amp, so no head necessary. Expression there. It's my wireless. So all I gotta do, get power to this guy. Just like this. Speaker cable plugged in. This thing's so rad, this uh, gator case, because it's got a thing that just opens at the back here. And my uh, speaker cable is going to go right to that. And literally, dude, the pedal board, that's it. It's hooked up and ready to go. After doing this, There, the rig is set up and ready. Let's go with the 600 for this. Get the wham. Here's a test. Do we have juice? We do. Are we in tune? See all those guys that give me hate about stretching, all the stretching I do? It's because I know from experience, the more stretching you do during the string change, the more in tune and show ready it is, right away, ready to go. probably pretty quiet right now it's just like the practice level i've been jamming at rehearsing the set and you know it's just iphone camera audio there so i don't know how good that's going to be but it gets pretty damn loud let's crank that up and see
I'm gonna turn it back down though. I'm assuming maybe that's blowing, blowing out the camera. Won't know till afterwards. <laughs> So that's it, rig ready. Got the work box in there too. Bring that out for string changes, all that kind of stuff, uh, you know? So that's gonna do it. Today is Saturday. Full band rehearsal start on Monday. Show on Friday, Incarceration Fest 2024 here in Mansfield, Ohio. Should be a good time. I'm expecting a lot of energy. Hoping to see a lot of you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, just do it, you know? Help me out, let's raise those numbers. Everybody that's been subscribed, long time rider, subscribed or not, I appreciate you watching. Every single one of you, please check out my Patreon campaign. Patreon community, I need you there. It helps me do everything that's going on right now, everything you've been watching. Thanks to everybody who's been a part of it, new or long time riders. Love you all, see you on the next one. Maybe even next Friday. Cheers.